It's Tommy, and today we will be making another Pokemon, Mawile, one of my favorites. So let's make this fairy, shall we? Alright, so to make a Mawile, you are going to need to make the legs first. So start by making the legs, and we are going to roll two newspaper cylinders. Okay, so to put on the paper mache, you'll need some toilet paper and you will need to mix one part glue, one part water. I use white glue for this. Brush on the surface area first so the toilet paper sticks better and brush on some glue until the toilet paper is completely wet and let it dry. Alright, so this is the head. You're going to want to roll yourself kind of like an egg shape for the head. I'm just going to add a little bit more detail to it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue the legs together now so it's a lot easier to work with. I'd rather work with one piece rather than two. To make the body for this Pokemon, you'll need to crumple newspaper into the shape of a cone. Okay, so now let's glue the body onto the legs and let's glue the head on top of the body. And then we're going to use some toilet paper and glue to make sure it holds together really well. To make the jaw, you will need to cut out two large cardboard torpedoes. And you're going to want to stuff it with lots and lots of newspapers until the jaw is nice and thick enough. Okay, so to make the feet, you'll need to cut out two moons. For the ears, you'll need to cut out those two shapes. And for the hands, you'll cut out the same shapes as the ears, but you'll have pointy ends. And you'll need to cut out several triangles for the teeth. Okay, so let's start working with this stuff. Now I'm going to turn these two dimensional shapes into three dimensional shapes. Just watch what I do. All you gotta do is you need to just put toilet paper underneath and put toilet paper on top. It doesn't have to be very thick. I just don't want these shapes to be flat. Thank you. 
Alright, so now I'm gonna do a little more work on the body. Okay, I'm just going to detail the legs just a little bit more. And I'm going to smooth off the head a little bit more. Alright, now we have all the pieces. Let's build ourselves a fairy. Attach the feet at the bottom of the legs. To make the arms movable, attach them with screws. You'll need to attach the jaws together. To do that, fold a strip of cardboard over the two at the end of the jaw pieces. Attach them at both ends, just like I'm doing right now. Now that her maw is nice and thick, we're going to glue on the teeth. Glue on three on the top and two on the bottom. Okay, so with a sharpie or a permanent marker, draw Ma Wiles cap and her eyes or his eyes, whatever you prefer. Cut the eyes out when you're done. Oh right, draw on the mouth too. To make the ears move, use screws for attachment. Now roll a cardboard tube, tape it together and glue it at the bottom of the head. This allows the head to move. Okay, so now it is time to cut out the mouth. Now 
Now reattach the mouth but just at the bottom, like so. Now drill a hole at the back of the head. Now put a wooden dowel through the hole and attach it to the mouth. And there you go, just like that, your Pokemon can now talk. And now for the fun part, let's get painting! Take chances, make mistakes, and get messy. Okay, so when you're going to be spraying a finish on your puppet, just make sure you're wearing safety glasses and you have good ventilation. And now put the eyes in. And I'm going to be using some foam tubing to attach the jaw to the back of her head. Now this part is completely optional. I am going to be attaching bow ties to her ears because I think they look cuter and I like bow ties, okay? I sure had fun making this Pokemon and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Now go make yourself a puppet friend. <laughs>